Welcome to my channel. I'm Danny Walker. I'm excited to share with you about my favorites for Miss Universe Puerto Rico. If you are brand new to the channel, but you love to watch pageant related content, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. If you're a pageant contestant and you're struggling to improve your pageant interview, then check the description below where you can learn more about Rehearsed to Relatable. First thing I'm getting into is the swimsuit competition. I wanna say though that I think that the performances were too short. I wanted to see more of each contestant. I felt like it was really difficult for me to make accurate assessments or really fair assessments of each contestant because it was really based on a first initial impression because it went so fast. And I think that when pageants do that, then it gets really, really easy to score based off of whatever your personal standard or personal perception of physical beauty is, and that varies from person to person. So uh, I, I prefer to see a little bit longer of a swimsuit competition. In no particular order, here are the contestants that stood out to me for this area of competition. Fajardo, I wanna talk about her because I really liked her, but then she did a dragging pose at the end, and that's something we see more in glitz pageantry, not natural pageantry. So I was liking it up until that point. If, if I was scoring, it would have affected that. Salinas did great. She opened her routine with a spin turn. So it was like this like pow boost of energy at the beginning. I thought that was wonderful. And also, I mean, she's just so fit too, right? You, you can't help but notice. Carolina, love the hair, love the bounce in the hair. Obviously, great body, she caught my attention. Her hair back was a perfect choice for her. So first of all, it made her look a little bit different from other contestants, made her a little bit more memorable, but it really showcased her face. She has such a beautiful face and it was working for her. What a great styling choice. Dorado is giving me Miss Venezuela vibes. I don't know if you guys feel that when you were watching this, but she just looks so tall, so statuesque. She's a blonde, which we don't see that much. And I feel like that's one of those things that's making her stand out. And also her eyes are so beautiful. You can see them from afar. They're so light. And it's just one of the things that's just gonna draw you in a little bit more to her. Toa Baja, okay, my note for her was stunning just stunning right the facial beauty the body the walk the presentation check 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 agua Dia, i think that she was very beautiful the only thing i wanted to see was a little bit more energy for me personally i love to see that contestants are having a lot of fun in the swimsuit competition and i think that when you have fun it makes you look really present and that's just very likable on stage Loaza, one of my favorite performances. Her hair looked beautiful. I really, really liked her execution of her spin turn as well. I think it added to this performance. Isabella did really, really well. I felt like she was on the border though. It was almost too much for me. So if she were to make it to a final, I feel like she could pull back a little bit, just relax a little bit more on stage. San Juan had a really, really cute energy, great body of course too, but her energy just seemed so sweet, so pleasant. And that's what I liked about her. San Lorenzo was really fun. I liked her initial turn that she opened up with. It was really, really well rehearsed and practiced. She's prepared as you can see, and she's one of those contestants that makes me do a double take. Trujillo Alto. All right, we have to talk about this. She is a former Miss Ohio USA. Ah! I actually was in the audience when she was first runner up at Miss Ohio USA, and then when she won Miss Ohio USA. It was a really great show. She was one of my favorite Miss USA contestants. So happy to see her here. The one thing that's really pleasing me is she went back to her big, voluminous, curly hair. I thought that was beautiful. That's what I thought she was gonna bring to Miss USA. I thought it was a mistake that she didn't, but now we're seeing it here, and I, I hope that she's standing out to you too. Let's talk about the evening gown competition. One of my favorite things ever. So I love to see the styles that each contestant brings to the stage. And I love to see the showcasing of beautiful designer gowns. So let's talk about these ones. San Juan did a great job. Also, I thought that the styling, hair, makeup, everything was beautiful here. The one thing I would change is at the end, she sort of wiggled like this. And I wish she just would have held the pose. Toa Baja is making waves online. If you guys follow on Instagram at all, a lot of people are reposting her. For me, this was another one of those performances that I would probably score in a top five or high enough to keep seeing her in the competition. This was beautiful. The gown was stunning on her. Really great choice, great performance. Torado, 
this was also one of my favorite gowns beautiful performance to complement it this dress to me could have gone wrong in so many different ways and also if it's not on a contestant that it suits it might not have looked so great but this really suited her body it brought out her eyes and i thought it was just really nice and complimentary to her hair color too salinas great walk very confident beautiful gown choice on her. I know it's that typical sheer rhinestone style of gown that we often see, but it, if it looks beautiful on you ladies and you feel confident in something like that, wear it. Wear it and work it. Loaza, she shined. She shined. This walk and really the pose at the end just gave me butterflies. I absolutely loved it. This was actually my favorite evening gown performance of the night, in addition to the fabulous gown that she wore. San Lorenzo, this performance, for me personally, top five. It would get a really great score from me. I thought that the hair in the bun was beautiful. It just, she just looks stunning. She looks ready to go. I wanna see more from her. Carolina, great performance. I wish she would have smiled a little bit more. Aguadilla, the gown was beautiful, but I think that the reveal was sort of weird. We've seen dresses where they get revealed on stage before, but the way that it happened from the front of the chest and opening it up, it just kind of felt like you're flashing the audience a bit more than doing a reveal. So I wish there was a different sort of reveal for this. I really don't even think that she needs that additional piece for finals. The gown itself was gorgeous on her. Sidra, this gown was unique on her. Honestly, not everybody could pull off this style. I don't know if I could, but the gown with the hair up in the bun, it was elegant, it was working, she worked that dress, I loved it. Isabella was wearing a beautiful gown. It fit her very, very well. I just wish it was in a brighter color, although I did really love the waterfall beading in the back, but her walk was smooth. She carried the dress very well, and honestly, that's what's the most important thing. This gown was perfect for her, and she was actually able to carry it. it looked very heavy it didn't look easy to walk in but she did make it look easy so that for me was impressive and i just wish she would have smiled a little bit more at the end even just a soft closed mouth smile i think would have been nice those are my favorites for this competition i cannot wait to tune into the finals and to recap that thank you so much for requesting this episode i got so many dms about this one super excited because i do love this pageant and if you guys want to see anything else on the channel just leave that in the the comments section of course please be kind to one another be kind to the contestants because they do see these episodes so let's just let's just show respect and love towards one another thank you so much for watching this episode and i hope that you're going to be coming back for another one